Hello once again, audience. I am Twins Play Ticket, and this is Civilization V. Yes, that is right. So, um, I read my poll, and uh, we were actually tied in two. We had two votes total. Uh, we had one for Civ Five, and we had one for Terraria. So I flipped a coin, and Civilization V won. So yeah, so I guess we're gonna just start here. So, you may be wondering, TPT, what civilization are you gonna pick? Well, gone for the Polish. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be playing on Pangaea, so it's a bit more interesting and fun. We're gonna be playing on a huge map size again. Um, although I will decrease the number of city-states, as I don't want there to be a bajillion. Also, we're not going to be putting on time victory. And yeah, okay. Um, alright, oh barbarians are disabled. So yeah, uh, we're just going to be doing it on Warlord because I do actually want to win. And since I suck, I need a decent way to win. So yeah, let's just start the game here. Um, but yeah, so if you didn't know, Polish, the Polish have two special units. One of those is the, is the Docker Stable. Noble King Casimir the Great. Protector and sovereign of the kingdom of Poland. You ascended I'll just to let the them throne speak. during a time of great turmoil, with the nation's economy in shambles and its people demoralized by the wars of your predecessor. And yet your reign marked the beginning of a new era, with affluence and security afforded only by way of your careful governance. Among your most notable achievements, the code of laws you established gave legal authority to many of the accepted customs of the time, strengthening the nation. Honored King Casimir, the people have long admired the steady hand of governance you wield. Can you return your kingdom and its subjects to a golden age of prosperity? Will you conquer all those who oppose you, or strive for peaceful relations? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay, so there we go. Um, yeah, so we're, as you can see, let's just hop right in. And holy damn, that's a good spot. We got whales right next to us. We got pearls here. We got wheat. Oh, yeah, I'm settling here. I am settling here. Uh, we're gonna, what do we want to start off with? I say we should start off with... Hmm. Well, let's just see, what's the quickest way to get to sailing? Pottery, okay. Pottery it is. You can start exploring and you're going to start build a worker. Uh, let's click on you, precision management. Uh, good. I want it on the production, the dial with the most production. So that we can pump out this worker ASAP. But yeah, uh, I reckon this is pretty cool. Uh, hopefully we're going to have lots of fun with this. I know I'm going to have lots of fun. Hopefully I'm going to win as well, unlike last time. And look at that, we've already discovered Mount Sinai with 8 faith. That would be a pretty useful thing to get early to mid-game. Probably early game would be better. I've got a decent amount of resources here. we got some stone, some wheat, and some sheep. Well, actually, if we place one here, we'd get the oasis plus the sheep and the wheat, and then we could just expand one tile into Mount Sinai. That's always an option. But, yeah. I'm just going to keep flipping through these turns until something relatively interesting happens. Quite a bit of a de small desert region up the top of us, but it, lo it looks like. Yeah, I really want these whales and these pearls because they're obviously going to be our main luxuries. Okay. Bye. Oh no, no, you better not. That's my ruin. That is mine. Oh, damn, that's pretty sweet. More population, that'll make our city grow. That'll make our city bigger quicker. I mean, it's a bit of a, nah, shit, but, oh well. 
Okay, let's just keep going back around here. Jesus, someone's already just made a pantheon on turn 10. That's pretty impressive. Let's get animal husbandry. Why do we just get those? We that's weird. Yeah, well, let's just end the turn again. We we just got pottery, and uh, actually, we're gonna go for sailing. Let's go for sailing and then animal husbandry because we need sailing so that we can get these whales and pearls ASAP because they're gonna be good for our economy. Uh, bollocks, they're gonna get that. Yeah. Damn. So you do explore, build a mon- ah, yeah, monument, why not? Construct a farm. Jeez, some people are getting to score quick. Okay, good, we've expanded- there's another bit of pearls here. Jeez. Gonna be providing us quite a bit of gold on the bright sign. Well, what, one, two, three. Well, at least be able to get all of this. So we'll probably be able to get that wheat later in the quite long future. Yeah, looks like, yeah, well, it's not really any surprise that there's jungle up here, seeing as this is obviously close to where Brazil spawns, and Brazil has a prom uh, biased start towards jungle. So that's hardly surprising, and we can adopt a policy. Okay, what do we want? I'm saying we're going to be getting this. Let's go Liberty, let's go uber expensive. As I said, I'm probably going to stick this up here because I, I do agree that there is desert. However, there's also stone and, uh, and wheat and sheep and also Mount Sinai, which is be which would be amazing to get for a fate for a religion because religion in this game is quite powerful, can be very potent. And yep, that there they are, rated Nero for population compared to our three. Interesting. And look at that, we got sailing. He's not doing too well. Hello. Well, as soon as that work is finished, we'll. We will. Um, sorry, as soon as that settler's finished, we will get a work boat so that we can improve these two and get some happiness. Okay. Yes, please. I do want to be friendly with you, seeing as you are probably going to be one of the closest civs towards me. Well, I'm at the bottom of the score of leaderboard somehow. I'm impressed with myself. Okay, there we go. Um, what do we want next? Clean hinge. Writing. Hmm. I reckon we'll get some mining. Tum ta tum ta tum. Uluru, okay, that's another one though. Yeah, let you go over there and you follow him. Well, them actually, it's not just a him, it's a them. Because as you can see here, there's females as well. See, that's a female, that's a female, that's a male, male, donkey. <laughs> yeah, because that makes sense. Female, female, male, donkey. Four souls rain again. Four population. Rio de Janeiro is in a pretty good spot. We've got some nice forests. Uh, Uluru. <laughs> middle of my country. And yet somehow they put it in the middle of a forest. I can tell you that Uluru is not in the middle of a forest. Okay, sweet. Ancient ruins. Well, that's good. Might get something good out of them. Uh, Archer. No. <coughs> I'm sorry. We get bronze working. You go here. You start working that we right uh, boom. And 
Actually, we'll have to go on that. Then we'll get that for our second tile. You can build a shrine. You're obviously not going to grow as big as Warsaw, but I don't care. I've discovered trapping. Sweet. Get another social policy. Uh. Sure, let's be uber expensive. Get this way put out here, give me some happiness. You sort of go off this way, because we don't need to worry too much about barbarians, seeing as, as I said earlier, I've had them disabled for this game, because I don't like them. They're a bit, they're not, they don't really serve to do anything, except be a bit annoying, and damn, found a good spot here. Got some horses, and marble, and deer. I'm going to go right here. We got an amazing start. Boom. And then you can produce a worker. Start a production focus. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, okay. They've gotten. They've become spearmen from the advanced weaponry. Ah, Sweden. Good to see you, my friend. As you can see, I'm being very expansive here with 40. Turned 42 and I've already got three cities going. Even I'm impressed at myself. But I do say so myself. Okay, yes. We are getting uh, uh, faith six, eight faith per turn. We'll be able to get a Pantheon quite quickly. Which means that we'll also be able to most likely get a... What do you call it? A uh, great profit, quite quickly. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, I, have, I personally think we are in an amazing starting location for this. This is awesome. Yes. But yeah, I reckon this is perfect for our game. It's gonna be amazing. Found a pantheon, okay, what do we want? I'm just going to get this, seeing as that means that this city is going to be producing a bull's ton of faith. Seeing as it's like, it's like Songhai is in the t TSL location. Jeez, we rocketed up in school. Okay, next turn. Golden Age is doing sweet. That'll increase our production, happiness, no, not happiness, our uh, production, gold, and culture. Most well fed people, average food, yeah. We haven't got that much excess average food, seeing as we're so expansive. You, what do I want you to produce? What can you produce? Um. Sure, just get a spearman. Who the fuck cares? Damn, sure. He paid me a decent amount. The rough, probably the rough equivalent of if I was to just take the gold in gold per turn. That's still a, that's quite a large amount of money, especially for such early turn. Uh, you build a mine. I don't know why you'd want me to build a thing there. Mm. Mm. Get masonry. Have we got any iron nearby? We got two there. That oh, that's good. Right, we got marble here. So yes, we do want... We do definitely want masonry. We'll work on these horses first. Whatever. If you're gonna be my friend, I'll just well start kissing your ass. Another policy. Sure. Go over there. I'm still wondering who this toppy player is. Ah, okay, so it appears that we are reasonably close towards the top of the continent, possibly, maybe? I'm not really sure. But it appears that that may be the so. Okay, cool. You groan. There's some fish there. The people of the United States of America welcome you. 
the following trade of interest. Yep. Dang, yeah, see, we're, we're also right on the right-hand side of the continent as well. Okay. You go fortify. Definitely get the Great Library. Hmm, what do I want you to build? Build me a monument, why the fuck not? Sure, just get that whatever. Stone, yes. Hmm. Feeds as it's boiling here in this room. I'm sorry if you can hear that fan. You shouldn't be able to, but. It is really hot here. 30 something degrees, I think. Next turn. Turn 61, jeez, we're really firing through these open turns. Lords demand cotton, okay, that's nice. Actually, can you just go down here for me for a second? You get those horses. We got four horses already, which is cool. Yep. Uh, horses. You can build a temple of Artemis. Dang, you look. You Jeez, you look fucking dank as shit. Let's just see. Well, I'm looking at this because the Polish have a very powerful civ. I don't even know what it's called. Um, special civ bonus. I don't know what it's called. See, uh, yeah. See, they receive a free social policy whenever I enter the next era, which is super powerful. That's okay. It's not super powerful, but it is quite powerful. Optics, then give me the wheel. Continue building. Give me the deer. Okay, good. So I can access this fish if I sent a work boat around this way. That's good. That's what I was wondering about because I wanted to see if I could actually get this fish or not, or if it was some sort of inland lake. But I could see this bit, but I couldn't see like any of this here. So I didn't know if it was a full connection or not. I mean, I assumed it was, but I wanted it to be 100% certain. Where are you? Okay, you're all the way over here. Probably need a trade caravan. Maybe Crocodile Rio, Rio de Janeiro, if we can reach it. Sorry, crack owl. Okay, great profit. There it is. Let's get our religion. Okay, um, you can build farm production. Give me a wall, whatever. Um, what do we want? Let's go Catholicism, something nice and simple. Um, okay, let's just see it. Where we would always get our pagodas. Pagoda doesn't really love my pagodas. Yeah, that looks good enough. Found religion, yep. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. Doing pretty well. I reckon, Jesus, look at our, ooh, our score, jeez. That's probably like, at least like 50, that is probably from our religion. Because religion gets you a shit ton of score for some reason. It is pretty good, like those pagodas, each of them, they cost 200, okay, in the first, I don't know, I, for some reason they um go up in uh, each, like when you purchase a religious item, goes up in price for uh, uh, randomly at points. I think, I don't really, mean, I know, it's not random, but like, whatever, but at the first increment, it's 200 faith, and for that, you get plus 2 faith turn, plus 2 happiness, and plus 2 culture, okay, classical era, um, yep, and yep, and choose great person, great, s what do we want, do we want a great scientist, yeah, sure, I'll stick him there. Thing is, I'm not using that forest right now. Okay. Sem embassy, where are you? Okay, you're pretty close, actually. That's an interesting. As I don't, the totals. Damn. Yeah. See, that's why seven policies. That's why we're pretty good. Uh, yep. Science. You can go here. Building a farm, but yeah. The Celts, they're interesting. Uh, there is a helicopter going past my house right now. That's always great. But, um, yes, this is the thing I love. Okay, uh, you can get Stonehenge. Free tech, what do we want? The, uh, philosophy is 241, 241, 241. Okay, do we want this? Do we want this? Yes, we want that. Because then, in that case, I'm going to change to the Oracle. And then, if I have time, I'll do Stonehenge and the Pyramids. Because, why not? You can build a farm. Uh, once you finish with that in four turns. Yeah. Actually, I might as well send you over, because it'll take you more than one turn to get over there. Actually, no. Yeah, you go there, then I'll send you over to that forest to improve. But go there. We'll be able to get a farm here. Also, we'll probably be able to get those cat. Yeah, we'll get those cows as well. In how many turns? Eight turns. Um, what do we want? Construction. Okay, let's just end up turning it. Oh no. I uh, could do a farm. That is a farm button, right? No. No, it's F. What does F do then? Oh well. Who cares? Um, next turn. Not too much going on. Uh, we're just really blazing through the turns. It's 79, turn 79. It's the first episode. Um. Well, sure. Forgot that we already had a thing in this capital. You go over to that forest there, then you will head over to this grassland here. Gold platoon, Post Pedro, okay, well, he'll probably. He might give me that deal again. No, you won't. Oh well, who cares? Oh, he's got another uh, city going up, that's pretty cool. Ish. What do we want? Um. Yes, because that means we'll be able to get our unique building. Sure. Where are you? Jeez, you're far away. That's pretty good. Everybody loves our pearls. When will we get our next tower? I'm going to buy you then, if you're not going to expand into it. You can just sleep for a couple turns until the borders expand in two turns. Okay. Cool. Uh, lumber mill. Yes, I want a decent amount of production. No. Let me do that. Uh, yes, please. That'd be sweet. But the oracle is pretty good because it, well, it sort of works with my thing because I do social policies and the oracle gives you a free social policy as well as great scientist points, and I love my great scientist points, as well as culture, and I love my culture points. 
basically the Oracle is just a big good pile of goodies. That made that was the logical statement. It was a big good pile of goodies. See, it makes sense. Okay. Uh, if they should expand, yes, they have. Sure. Yeah, they've expanded to the draft. Yes, yeah, sure. Geez, everyone wants to know us. Well, look at that. We've got almost twice the score of second place. Jesus. And that shows you just how OP Poland is, especially if you get a bit of luck. Uh, yeah, uh, purchase, pagoda, more happiness. It's pretty sweet. Next turn. What does the demographics like? With third in population, third in crop yield, first manufactured goods, second in GMP, fifth in land, fifth, sixth in soldiers, first in approval, and first in literacy. That's pretty, those are all good stats. I want a Colosseum because I will be thinking about getting another settler. Possibly, maybe here somewhere. I'll have to explore that a bit though. You start exploring here. Where's my. Where is he? There he is. That's my Espori. Actually, you stop. Mm, you can go here and build a uh, yeah farm, sure, whatever. Next turn. Mathematics and a turn. That's pretty good. That gives us a catapult. That gives us a courthouse. Which, we're probably not going to use the courthouse anytime soon. Because, oh, math. I love that saying. But yeah, um, courthouse. Uh, we're probably not going to be using it for a while, seeing as I don't think that we're going to be taking over any cities anytime soon. Um, Hanging Gardens, it's pretty cool, but uh, do we have tradition? I thought we had liberty. Uh, yeah, we had liberty, so... But yeah, see, that's why liberty is pretty good. See, bottom one, adopting all policies in the liberty tree will grant a free great person with choice near the capital. It's pretty sweet. Looks like we're going to be getting a social pol another social policy in two turns. Research. Uh, currency. Yeah. Uh, actually, just wait. What else is there? Yeah, currency. We able to get you a caravan? No one in range, though. Yeah. I reckon this city would be able to reach Edinburgh if when I build it, when I settle it. Okay. Next turn. Okay, I think I'm starting to get the layout of a map. It looks like it sort of comes like this, then comes around and back around here like this, and then comes through here, then like that, and then back around like that. Yeah, seems like an interesting shaped map. Yep, sure. Aesthetics, why not? Where, where, where Poland, it seems logic. A dominant sexual idea and a game mission is not explaining a fizzy, a building of content of the scene, but it's blah 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 blah. Okay, let's go. And the turn there. Oh, and look at that, frame drop. Well, actually, that's conveniently timed because it's the end of the episode. So yeah guys, um, I have been Twitch Play Ticket and this has been my first episode for our poll and let's play. Please hit the like button down below and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Your support means the world to me and I love you guys for all of it. One more. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.